I wasn't joking earlier when I said she's built like a McNugget. It really is distracting, and it's even worse when they grind their loins into one another. <laughs> They've even got a pet fox. I don't suppose I can get you to kill them, can I? I don't want to go anywhere near them. She looks sticky. What if I give you something to drink? No? What about you? Can wow. you get drunk? You're already acting like you're drunk. I don't know how that's going to help. Oh, uh, we've got a chicken. You want chicken? Maybe I can put it in the bowl and then you'll just haul on that? Uh, oh! oh! What's up guys, welcome to Death Incoming, a game where you get to play as the Grim Reaper, but work has been a little slow lately. Unfortunately, a lot of people are only a gentle nudge away from dying under haphazard, unlikely, hilarious circumstances, so hopefully we're going to be able to make it so the death can keep earning a living while keeping things low key, because I really don't want to get in trouble with the big guy upstairs. You see, this is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like, we can't just take the scissors and stab this guy in the neck. It'd be too obvious. We'd be found out. So what we need to do is take the scissors and stab his kettle, which will then leak a swimming pool worth of water on the floor, and his live pet wire will then shock him to death. When I said a haphazard, unlikely, hilarious circumstances, I should have added in stupid, because this game is gonna be incredibly stupid, if you couldn't tell already. And it seems to think that I'm stupid too, because it's telling me exactly what to do, as if I haven't been death incarnate on this channel more times than I can count. <laughs> but sure, we'll go ahead and uh, hang up your towel. Imagine you'll fall on this broken stool and break your neck. How is he dying right now? If you're hanging from your chin, then just look up. <laughs> not that I want you to live, but it's not exactly rocket biology. Something tells me these situations are gonna get weirder and weirder, depending on what you consider weird. Maybe you're a fully grown man who gets up at the crack of dawn to take his trampoline out in front of the gold mine so that you could do front flips next to the meat crane. <laughs> Also, his dog is absolutely adorable, and I'm really sorry that I'm going to have to orphan it. The meat crane has to be the point of interest here. Or at least his head is getting so close to it every single time. It's just not close enough for us to make a living, so clearly we need to make improvements. We've also got a pulsating dog bowl and a throbbing shovel. I would imagine that the throbbing shovel might be able to help us dig a hole under the trampoline. I was thinking we could make him jump even higher. Uh, that works too, I guess. <laughs> they are really not screwing around with some of these deaths. I, there's no indiscreet way of making somebody front flip onto a hook, so I, I feel like that probably works good enough. I don't know where the lucky wheel came from. Like, I I'm guessing if you collect a soul from a real flashy death, then this is the equivalent of a Christmas bonus. I I'll go ahead and have this spin. Maybe I can win myself some money or... Yeah, I'll take some money. What does the Grim Reaper spend money on? Oh, he spends it like the rest of us. On stuff that he keeps in his house. I would love to get him a Wi-Fi connection or a TV, but we're still a little hard up for cash. We need more work, more souls. Why don't we just steal this guy's TV? Look, I know he's busy right now kicking back watching what I can only describe as a softcore music video. Well, like, clearly, he's not going to have much use for it soon. After he's choked to death on his drink. Oh, oh, ew! Why do I feel like what he just did to that bottle was more R-rated than what's on TV? <laughs> Could you please change the channel? Like, the lady that's built like a McNugget is real distracting. I would rather get spookumed. Oh. Okay. He choked to death on the TV remotes. <gasps> well, maybe if you had practiced a little more on the bottle, then you would have survived. It's not every day you see a Jamaican in the Arctic finding buried treasure with his partner, the zombie. <laughs> Looks like zombie didn't really dress for the weather. He really shouldn't be wearing a crop top and cut off shorts out here. It's like negative 50 degrees, but maybe we can break you out of your hypothermia? No, oh, I need to thaw you, I see. And let me guess, there's not enough treasure to split two ways. 
but plenty of delicious brains. <laughs> Listen, I get what I want out of the deal. You know what, I'm not gonna ask why you're painting that tree white. I'm not gonna ask how you're painting that tree white, considering you've only got blue, yellow, and red paint. I'm not even gonna ask why there's a bull behind you that looks like it's been sniffing bees. I am gonna ask how I can make you die, though. Maybe if we get the right color paint to make white? Even though that's not really possible with these colors. I've made him the latest angry member of the Blue Man group, or he kinda looks like Cookie Monster and Bert had a child. <laughs> okay, well, if we add yellow, then... That's not gonna make green, That that's just gonna turn you into Marge Simpson, but a little bit messed up. Oh, we want red, of course, because that would piss off the bull, and then you're gonna get... Gourds. That, that, that's just more red paint. Don't even worry about it. He is dead, though, so... <laughs> I don't know what you would worry about. Oh, hard day of reaping souls. Better sit back and have some sugar water. I knew the second I heard the description of this game that this exact situation was gonna happen. I've seen the Final Destination movies, and this lady is flying around town with a lot of cargo that seems to be very loose. We put this here, then... Oh, yeah, it, it, it just... It makes it hard to drive behind literally anything in real life. But we've got ourselves some ginger kid that's swimming nowhere fast. I gotta ask, what's the point of wearing a sweatband underwater? <laughs> I can't be distracted by that, though. I'm seeing a couple of not-so-dangerous fish, some slightly dangerous fish, but I'm a lot more interested in the pickup truck-sized shark in the background, who I can't seem to agitate quite yet. Maybe... I can get you to sample his dairy air. There we go. Little blood in the water. I'm sorry, did I say pickup truck sized? I meant dump truck sized. <laughs> that kid's gonna get stuck between his teeth. Why would you ever willingly practice archery next to a beehive? Like, it's the equivalent of peeing in an open field. You're constantly one big gust of wind away from being completely ruined. Here, how about you take this brick and... I was gonna say beat yourself to death with it because it'll end up being a whole lot less painful, but I, I suppose you always could just use it for a limp arrow, alright? Can I be the one to throw or lower the hive? There we go. You still don't want the brick? Too bad, offers off the table, anaphylactic shock it is. I gotta say, you know, overall, these deaths have been very stupid, but for the most part, low-key. I don't think anybody is watching. This guy seems to have somehow locked himself out of his house in the middle of the night during winter. So he could freeze to death, or he could just get mugged for his solid gold headphones? Not really sure. I'm also wondering how the key managed to get up on the windowsill. I'm not gonna give it to you, though. I'm gonna give you the axe, and then that way maybe your wife will kill you for trying to cut down the door? <laughs> or you could just be impaled by an icicle? Yeah, I, I suppose that works. I may make jokes, but falling icicles actually are terrifying. Like, I I'm Canadian, I would know. They may not shish kebab you, but it's the equivalent of having somebody drop like a 12-pack of baseball bats on your head. Definitely something you would want to avoid. Like this guy, this random hipster who has decided to go to a movie in his small train. Like, is this on the road right now? I, I, I can understand listening to records and wearing round glasses or whatever, but this seems a little bit excessive. You've got a fire and you're shoveling coal into it. You've got a coal box that, uh,. Maybe we can use to plug things up? Oh yeah, no exhaust means you get to choke on the carbon monoxide. That's a little grim, and here comes Big Grim. That shirt seems to be a little on the nose, wouldn't you say? 
Like, for this situation, sure, it makes sense because there is a power syringe that's the size of a two liter of milk on the floor. A little concerning, but I don't know if I would walk around in public with a shirt that says prick me. Guys might take that the wrong way. I, I will, however, prick you in the ass a very different way. Let's go ahead and get you real beefed up. Th that shirt doesn't say anything now. Um, why is that rack so incredibly sharp? <laughs> That just seems like a gross oversight. Same with leaving the power syringe out. You, you must need to refrigerate that stuff. Who would have guessed that transforming a guy with a bucket of steroids and then impaling him on a coat rack would summon the lucky wheel? I, I guess that was just extravagant enough to earn me... 300 coins. I'll take it. We're actually up to like 3,300 now. I might be able to buy something soon. Listen, I know I'm technically the bringer of death and not the fashion police, but the biker shorts and the windbreaker without a shirt and whatever this is, along with the bandana, it's stupid. Almost as stupid as standing there and having cars jump over your heads. I don't think we want to add a curved piece. I would much rather add something that might make the car... Okay, as if the concussion wasn't bad enough, the car would crush you afterwards. I wasn't joking earlier when I said she's built like a McNugget. It really is distracting, and it's even worse when they grind their loins into one another. They've even got a pet fox. I don't suppose I can get you to kill them, can I? I don't want to go anywhere near them. She looks sticky. What if I give you something to drink? No? What about you? Can wow. you get drunk? You're already acting like you're drunk. I don't know how that's gonna help. Oh, uh, we've got a chicken. You want chicken? Maybe I can put it in the bowl and then you'll just haul on that? Uh, oh! oh! Okay! We shish kebobbed and got a two for one! Nice! I'm getting better at this. I, I think I deserve a... Raise, actually, no, don't don't mention a raise. My boss doesn't know anything. You can really tell this is America because the sun is going down, which means it's time to get drunk and hurl grenades. I'm amazed that dog is sleeping through this. Usually bottle rockets will make a dog crap themselves. Do you need more to drink? I feel like you really don't, but we could always just keep piling it in, do ya? I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to wake the dog up because, oh, Okay, I didn't blow up the dog, but I did bonk it on its noggin with a grenade and- Oh, run away, run away. Good. I have no problem turning you to ashes. I just really don't want to hurt the dog unnecessarily. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Death Incoming, guys. And as always, if you want to see more of this, be sure to leave a like in the video. Leave a comment letting me know, because I know there are a lot more levels, and I think they get more and more ridiculous, more and more funny, more and more stupid, if that's even possible, but... I would definitely like to return to, you know, reap more souls and blow up more holes soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.